perspective and sort of uh, supporting each other. I would like to thank Hussam Rashid, Professor Hussam Rashid, uh, for his important remarks. Because we have time limitation, uh, I had to uh, stop it there, as we need to make better use of time, geographical, political, social, and economic, and demographic considerations were analyzed by him very aptly. We wish recoveries to our professor. Inshallah, God willing, we will be able to share this video in full on our web page so that all the participants can benefit from it. These are all important matters. However, we cannot play the whole video due to time limit. Now, another speaker will be Sahar Zeki Kaiban. Uh, Ms. Sahar, who, who joins from Egypt? The political geography of Islamic countries. That's the topic. Mr. Sa Professor Sahar, the floor is yours. Ms. Professor Sahar? Sahar? Welcome. Professor Sahar, the floor is yours. It's 25 past one. You have 15 minutes for your speech. الصوت واضح؟ الصوت واضح؟ سيسنزي على يروس. هلو؟ سهر وشان بويرون دعم بدين. تمام. أعرفكم نسي بس سهر زكي من مصر. بكرس هندسة اتصالات وإلكترونيكس. دبلوم تكنولوجيا المعلومات دبلوم دبلوم تطبيقات الليزر في الصناعه ماجستير في الاتصالات اللاسلكيه باستخدام الليزر جامعه القاهره ليا بعض المؤلفات حقوق الانسان بين الاسلام والغرب 2010 لو كنت رئيسا مصر بعد الثوره بست شهور 2011 سناء بوابه مصر الشرقيه الامم المتحده الاسلاميه 2013 الحكم الراشد كيف ومتى يتحقق في عالمنا المعاصر المشاركه في المؤتمر الاول لاسهم دوله المدينه من مكه الى الجزيره المشاركة في منتدى كولالمبور بعنوان بحث بعنوان ديمقراطية الفيتو الديمقراطية على الطريقة الأمريكية. I'm joining this uh, the first version of this international uh, conference. I took part in the second one too. In the third one, I joined a forum. Of course, when we think about geopolitical theories, the question of how we can better manage the world arises. A few questions were asked about uh, uh, geographical sciences. Here, many geopolitical developments are shaped depending on the positions, locations of countries. Each and every country, for example, America has its geopolitics, which is sui generis, which is different from other countries. So each and every country has their own polit geopolitical considerations. We need to understand all the emotions and considerations of countries and certain uh, geopolitical theories need to look at the world upside down, look at the heart of the world and try to understand who 
manages it so that they can uh, rule the entire world accordingly. So, from this theoretical line of thinking, there, there is this heart from the Sahara to the Middle East, to the middle of Sahara, extending from the northern part. So, Arab countries lie in the middle of this, uh, in the middle of this theory, in the middle of this geography. So, Islamic community uh, stands at the heart of the world, which is very important as they have strategic depth. The, the, the position of the heart stands in the middle of the uh, map on the middle of on the middle of the map which is important. Another marine officer from the United States expresses the following based on this theory. The importance of the countries are uh, is related to is related to their position according to the seas and how they cooperate with other countries. Similarly, Nicholas Bickman's theory from 1943 to 1940 through, uh, Astra Sewski claims the opposite. Who is an, this is an American officer with a Russian uh, descent from a Russian descent. Here, there is this referral to being dominant in aero, uh, in aero industry, aviation industry. Alexander Nefrinsky's theory again refers to airways, air bases, air control points showing that many Arab countries, Islamic countries, have an important place. Similarly, Jimmy Carter he talks as, as the fall of the Soviet Union and the emergence of the US as a superpower in terms of geopolitics and geostrategic. And he refers to the uh, dominance of the US in Eurasia. And this man, who is a pol political commentator and a political strategist from a Russian uh, descent again, states that the United nations uh, and the United States approach of dominance is broken by Russia. So each and every country and society has a unique structure. And he refers to the importance of breaking America's dominance, hegemony. When we look at this uh, theory about the generals and geographers. Here we talk about the extension of the cooperation between countries based on their borders. As you know, America has this cooperation between the states, which made it the biggest power on the world. It created NATO, superseding the Soviet unions and controlled France and other countries from a financial uh, perspective. And of course, inserted missiles. How did the US protect itself from the Western side? Thanks to Alaska, it created a boundary after World War II. America was a, a winner 
and it had defeated Japan. And here, uh, this clash enabled Russia to conquer certain islands. However, America's expansion in terms of geopolitics and geostrategy was possible through its campaigns in Africa, in Asia, Central Asia, creating divided countries which are independent from each other. In South Sudan, Rwanda, or other countries, we see such examples. So the geopolitical Islamic theory can be implemented in the Islamic geography only through Wahdet, the unity. The unity of the uh, Islamic community is exemplified by Turkey and then Pakistan, Malaysia, and other countries can be part of uh, the same group. Russia's here existence it can be uh, Russia's cooperation uh, can be achieved through Turkey uh, with Russia. And here Iran can be again part of such a collaboration on the northern side. The military bases in Qatar will, of course, support such a unity. Similarly, the, the peace of the African continent will be possible through such cooperation. The protection of the borders of the Islamic world and its extension can be possible through an alliance between Turkey and Greece so that a third party cannot be a, an interferer. That should also be done with Armenia. Armenia. And Crimea, here, uh, Turkey's position towards Crimea as annexed by Russia will enable the protection of northern borders. We can see the extension of the Islamic geography as such. We need to continue relationships with Syria and Russia, of course, but under the umbrella of an Islamic Union. As you know, Muslims constitute 30% of the population here. This will contribute to the Islamic uh, world here. Indonesia can reclaim Timor. Australia can again open a gate to the unity of the Islamic world. Uh, as you know, China has usurped rights of certain uh, Muslim communities there. So the problems experienced by the Uyghurs can be resolved through such a unity in Africa. Similarly, we see we see conflicts uh, as well as Central Asia. So England, Canada, Iceland, they have important clout there. As you know, France has influence in Africa. So America, when America and Russia has a dominance over the world, they can uh, create a coup in Egypt. The other one can, the other one gets cash from these countries. The third one, on the other hand, caused Syria to be devastated. So, they bring down mosques, they build churches, and they make caricatures of the Prophet of Allah, prevent the invitation to Islam. And, of course, they do not enable Muslims to be a part of the religious, educational, and economic life. 
and they just put blames, they just put labels on the Muslims. Here the Islamic community can be created as such, as opposed to Russia and America. That's how an environment of peace can be created. Of course, the Islamic community should aim to serve Allah rather than making uh, the people being subject to each other. The message of sending prophet as a messenger for all the peoples can be conveyed, conveyed all around the world. When we look at this theory, we talk about uh, turning humans to back to themselves so that Allah uh, as the creator is not ignored. And America and Russia must know that as long as the believers wage war on behalf of Allah, the infidels will continue their uh, campaign in opposition. So um, I will, my part will be this, will, this will end the part, the, the end of my speech. Muslims should continue their survival as necessary. Our professor was very quick. I would like to thank Professor Sahar a lot for this nice presentation. Also, I would like to thank her separately as he as she finished her speech in 15 minutes. She did not go beyond that. That's why I would like to thank her again. Here we discussed important points like each country having their own geopolitical theory and the Islamic world should be a part of the same uh, structure. We agree with her. The Islamic uh, world is disparaged and here we need to come together. And here she said, she said that we need to create a structure for that. We'd like to thank her for this brief and concise presentation.